This is Mahmoud Hassan Meras. Welcome to another solution tutorial of Solidus. Today we are going to solve this problem. This is the isometric view and this is the top view. And this is the front view. And this front view is the cross sectional view of AA. Okay. And this is the right side view. We will start drawing from the top view. In the top view, we will first draw a rectangle whose, uh, which is 80 by 50 unit after that we will to post that 50 unit okay let's go first select the top plane select sketch and then select the center rectangle now dimension it dimension it 50 by 80 now go to isometric view isometric view then go to features then extrude boss and extrude boss it to 50 okay now now we will cut this portion this portion but we will cut this portion like here and like here because we later we have to draw this side part and this smaller part so first we will cut this whole part okay now select this face and then select sketch then normal to it first of all the uh, as we can see it is 40 unit height from here so we will select a point of 40 unit place a point here and now it's my dimension it so this point and this line and it's my dimension it to 40 and now select line and dimension is 35.7 35.7 and then we can see there is is the inclined line of 145 degree so go to smart dimension and dimension it to 145 okay then we, we can see this horizontal line which is apart from 55.44 unit select line and draw a line after that go to smart dimension and select this point and this line and dimension it 55.44 now draw another line incline line okay and here we can see this line is 110 degree from this line so we can set it is also 110 degree from this corner okay go to my dimension and select this two line and dimension it 110 degree okay as we have drawn our shape now we'll close the shape so first of all select this line and then extend this line we will parallel these two line so select this line and the previous line now parallel it okay now select trim direct this line and now close the shape with other line okay now go to isometric view and then go features and extract cut okay now we will draw this side part you can see this side part which has a outer circle of 20 and radius of 20 and inner circle radius of 12 and we have that it is has a two, uh, 10 10 heights a small rectangle and this portion is 24 and which is apart from 80 from this side so first we will draw a reference plane along against this wall to here then we'll draw this shape okay first select this face then go to reference then go to plane and select 80 and flip offset press ok now this case this case this normal to it now draw our shape so first we'll select a circle 
and dimension of the circle 220 radius into 240 diameter now is my dimension it now is my dimension this to there and it is you can see it is 20 unit from the base so give 20 dimension and press ok now we'll draw the inner circle the inner circle here we can see is 12 into 2 24 radius circle now select the line select the line and select this corner and draw a vertical line of 10 unit then draw all the necessary part and shapes now now we will trim all the unnecessary part that we don't need here so we will trim this portion we will also trim this portion and this portion then we will trim this inner side okay we have got our shape now it's time to extrude boss it so go to features and extrude boss it and we will go to font view then we will select the dimension manually okay we are we have done this part we will hide this plane now we can see we, now we have to draw this part we can see this part is 40 unit, unit from this side and 40 unit in height so we can say that it is a square so go to this side and select sketch and normal to it now select the corner rectangle after selecting the corner rectangle now dimension it as it is a 40 by 40 uh, rectangle so we will give dimension by 40 by 40 and we can see it is apart from this line is 5 unit so we will dimension it 5 unit after that we will then go to features and then extrude boss and we will extrude boss to this side ok in here we can see this portion is extrude cutted this side so we will again draw this portion and then extrude cut it Okay, then, then select this face and select select sketch okay now normal to it now select this line and select this line this line and this line then select convert entities okay now normal to it go to features and extrude cut and through all okay we're almost getting the shape so the last one in the last we have this semicircle extrude cut which is 45 apart from this vertical line okay select this face go to sketch and normal to it we i will select a point and dimension to I think I, I am out of sketch so again I am going to it is edit sketch okay we have back now go to smart dimension and select this point and this side and dimension it 45 okay now select the circle and dimension it uh, 15 into 2 okay now go to features and then extrude cut Okay. we have drawn our shape but here we can see in the modeling we have seen some is some fillet uh, as it has no dimension we will give dimension as needed so I am selecting the three unit as dimension 
so I'm selecting this side and this line and other side and this line and this line then press ok ok we have done our 3d modeling and thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different